Okay. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through... What was it? Some castle. Battled against the Power Rangers right here. And now it is time for us to go into, I believe... Let me see. I gotta read this, okay? I gotta read this because I forget. Yes, the connecting cave all the way to Silas City and Ambrit Town. Well, no, actually, we have to go to Ambrit Town first because, well, yeah, we need uh, we need strength. Anywho, uh, let's see. So, let's see, what, what was I trying to say here? Oh, yeah, off screen, I managed to, uh, yeah, have a zigzag goon. We're going to be using him for our HM slave because we need to get through stuff. We need to get some free stuff and all that crud. And, uh, yeah, so here we found ourselves a silver powder. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right into this particular area. As you guys can see, there's a... Well, there's plenty of grass. We're going to be finding some pretty good Pokemon right here. And I don't think there is one that I, like, actually want around here. I mean, look at this. We got a Krogonk. Oh, yeah. Krogonk is uh, going to get mixed, missed up right here because, yeah, psychic type Pokemon. Yeah, Krogonk not going to be feeling happy right here. And as you guys can see, bam, Krogonk defeated. And, well... Zigzagoon doing nothing, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this berry right here. Here we found ourselves a person berry. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves a tiny mushroom, and yes, you can sell those for a, a very high price. I think there's, like, an individual that you can trade with for that. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So, let's see. We're going to be switching, uh... We're gonna be going with the goat Jordan because uh, yeah, we kind of need to we kind of need to gain, gain a little bit more points, defeat everybody, all that fun stuff. So here is the connecting cave. As many of you guys can see, it's really not that much. The shortcut needs strength, and yes, we will be finding some interesting Pokemon. One of whom is Metatype, or as many of you guys already know him, or her, I don't know, as Dulcim. So. Yeah, might as well just capture it while we're at it. So here comes a confusion attack. And yes, here comes a razor leaf attack. Let's finish this guy off. And okay, Meditai is looking uh, pretty weak right there. Not going to use him on my team. Just, you know, we kind of need to add the add for the collection and all that crud, guys. And look at this. One, oh, come on. You know you want to be on my team, homeboy. And here comes another medit meditate <laughs> meditate <coughs> meditate move. Let's see. Let's go with a tackle attack. And oh buckets. Yeah, we're gonna get hurt by that, but here comes a tackle attack. Nearly defeats Meditite, so let's go. Throw a great ball at it while we're at it. Let's see. Come on. Come on, stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball. Come on, don't be lame. And there we go, guys. We caught ourselves a Meditite. Totally not going to use him. Not one bit. Okay, so here we have Zigzagoon growing levels. Yeah, so you are going to be our HM slave. And, well, let's see what happens right here. So here is Meditite, the Meditate Pokemon, both fighting and psychic type Pokemon. It eats just one berry a day. By enduring hunger, its spirit is tempered and made sharper. That's pretty awesome. That is uh, fantastic right there. So let's go ahead and call this Pokemon after the name from Pokemon uh, Emerald. We bequeath you the name Dalsim because, well, you kind of remind us of Dalsim from Street Fighter. Not that. So there we go, Dalsim. And there you go, guys. All right, so you're going to be transferred over to the box, and uh, we're going to be making our way right here. If you talk to this lady, she will heal up your Pokemon, which is always good, because normally I, I use up my healing items right here, like just right about here. And, well, no other Pokemon has attacked us. Now, if you conti continue on forward to Route 8, this is what will happen. You will get stopped by Dexio and I believe, uh, can't remember her other name. So, these people are going to be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Skiddo doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could uh, possibly cover the region as big as Kalos? 
Well, I can't. That's why we are here to power up your Pokedex. And here we get ourselves the Coastal Kalos Pokedex. And this will be added to the menu. Now, new encounters will help people in Pokemon grow mature. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the new addition to our Pokedex. So... As you guys can see, you got two sections right here. Yes, I haven't done as much onto our Pokedex just yet because, well, yeah, I don't want to really capture Pokemon. I want to actually beat Pokemon. Now, uh, somewhere down the road, yes, I will be capturing a buttload of Pokemon. Uh, if you guys probably, uh, if you, if you, now I'm doing something different with po with Pokemon X. I am capturing every Pokemon, and then Pokemon that you can't capture in Pokemon. In Pokemon Y, so there will be a trade episode at some point in time right here. But it is currently raining, and we are in Route 8, which this location right here is prime spot, a prime spot to actually find yourself some pretty interesting Pokemon. And well, let's go right ahead and go right here. There is an item that I want to get, but it won't let me. Not there. Right there. And let's go ahead and grab that, the HP up. And let's continue on forward to the next best thing. And, well, we're going to be getting attacked by Pokemon. Let's see who we have here. Here we found ourselves a Spoink. And I don't, yeah, we I don't think we captured this Pokemon. So uh, we're going to try and capture this Pokemon. We're going to try and capture as many Pokemon as possible, guys. Spoink is one of these guys. And, well, let's see, tackle attack. I mean, I, I, I could say, I mean, I could say, uh, what was it called? This this could be growing levels and stuff. We Yeah, we're going to be growing some levels. So let's go throw this Pokeball. Hopefully this wins. Okay, come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Come on, don't be lame. Be cool, man. There you go. That's another one to the collection right here. And let's see what Spoink has to... Well, let's see the Pokedex entry. So, <clears throat> as you guys can see, we got Spoink, the bounce Pokemon. Psychic-type Pokemon. It bounces around it on its tail to keep its heart pumping. It carries a pearl from Clam Pearl on its head. Wow, that that kind of sucks because it's like... You mean you, you mean to tell me you gotta, you gotta like jump up and down every single time? Man, your heart does not work. And we're gonna take on her... Dream big is what I say. You're looking at the future champion after all. Bring it on. Okay, so the future champ. I, I, I don't believe that. Now, here we're going to be taking on an Axu. This is going to be crazy right here because Axu is a pure dragon type Pokemon. And uh, if you guys remember from Pokemon X, yes, we had one. And we're going to be going straight for a Razor Leaf. But this guy is going to go with an Assurance attack. So here we go. Razor Leaf doesn't work. Holy crud. All right, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's see. We're going to go with Aaliyah mainly because, well, it's raining. We got Electric-type Pokemon. It should work a little bit, so here we go. Here comes a Dual Chop, and ooh, boy. Okay, come on, paralyze this Pokemon. Yes! Okay. So, let's see. We gotta heal up Aaliyah because my actual niece, Aaliyah, will be angry at me if this Pokemon faints. So, here we go. Super Potion. And... Bam! Okay, so here comes a Paralysis for the win. Yes! Alright, payback time. Electro Ball. Might not do as much damage. But... One can always dream. And, oh! Nearly defeats this Pokemon. And because of Paralysis... Yes, sir. Say goodbye. Okay. And there you go again. Another Electro Ball for the win. And bam. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. And the Goat Jordan has grown to level 17. Well, Zigzagoon is uh, not really... <laughs> not really doing anything at all. So there you go, guys. Another victory for us. And well, let's see. Well, we can't we can't push this right now, but eventually we will. 
And, yes, we are going to be getting attacked by another Pokemon, and, well, here we have another Spoink. Mmm. Spoink. Yeah, Spoink won't lead us, uh, leave us alone, so we're just going to be moving on right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and continue on our little adventure right here. And, according to my predictions, this victory is as good as mine! Now let's put them to the test. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be happening, so... Here we go, taking on Rising Star Riss, Rice, I don't know, and he'll be coming out with a Pancham, and Pancham is about to, Pancham is about to feel it, okay? So, let's go right ahead and use a Leech Seed, that way we get healed up just, you know, just a little bit, you know, get healed up, and here comes a, oh my god. So, we have to beat this guy quickly. And, yes, that will give us some points right there. Let's go with the Razor Leaf attack. And the Goat Jordan going in with the Razor Leaf. And there goes another hit. And, bam. Okay, so, we're slowly but surely we're taking its HP, but, yeah, I, I cannot, yeah, I'm not trusting this last one, so... Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And he, oh my god, he is, he has just moved. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So this guy right here kind of knows what's going on. We really know about our Pokemon, so let's go. Let's see. Check the moves. And okay, we, we can use this guy. Let's go with Blade. Let's go with Blade right here. And, uh,. Alrighty. Alright, Blade. Let's do it. And yes, the tackle attack doesn't work. Yeah, two can play at this game, switching out our Pokemon. And here comes a Razor Leaf. Not going to be effective thanks to its Steel-type capabilities, but here we go. Super effective. Let's go with another Fury Cutter. And Razor Leaf. Still not doing anything. Here comes a Fury Cutter. And just like that, Skiddo has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, look at that. Oh, yeah. And Zigzagoon without doing anything, yes. <laughs> Not doing anything at all. So here we have Goldeen, and we're going to go with Jordan. Now, there is one little problem, and it is raining, so Goldeen could potentially have, like, some kind of, like, water capability. What was it called again? Water sport or something? I don't know. Here we go. Razor Leaf. Here comes the Peck Attack, and that is super effective, but this is much more super effective. And that nearly defeats Goldeen, so let's go one more time with the Razor Leaf. And there you go. Razor Leaf for the win. And look at that. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. That's more points. Blade grows to level 17. Zigzagoons, level 8. Poping, level 20. And it's learning Slash. Okay, so this is a much better move than Comet Punch. So let's go ahead and switch that out. And, well, there we go. And here comes Pancham. So let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Star Fox. Okay. Now, if you guys are wondering where Hurricane is at, I did switch. What's his face? Uh, Zigzagoon 4 just for this occasion because... Yeah, we were going to be cutting and whatnot. And I think in the next episode, we're going to be doing the same thing. No, actually using uh, Rock Smash. So, yeah, we're just trying to we're just trying to do our thing right here. And look at this. Fainted. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And Aaliyah grows to level 21 and is learning Double Team. So, this is a perfect... This is perfect right here. So, let's go ahead and switch out Tail Whip. And just like that... Aaliyah has grown, or has learned, double team attack right here. And Reese Rice, I can't even pronounce it. Yeah. Reese Rice, I can't. Yeah. We defeated him. All right, let's move on. And get attacked by another Pokemon because, well, why not? And who do we have here? Yes, we are going to be taking on a Mind Fu. This Pokemon right here is, is a very good attacker. Sucks that, you know, it evolves... At a way later, uh, way, way later lev level, but still it is a very, very good physical attack right here. So let's go ahead. Razor Leaf attack nearly defeats this guy. And here comes the Meditate attack. So this one 
is yeah we gotta we gotta capture this guy real quickly because well it does peck a wallop and wallops are gonna yeah they they're, they're gonna they're gonna mess me up pretty good so here we go and just like that we have captured Mindfu alrighty. Okay, alrighty, so that's another Pokemon captured on screen. And look at it, Zigzagoon. Again, without doing anything, learning a new move. It's, well, it's learning Headbutt, so... It is a pretty good move. Let's go ahead and take away Tackle. We're not going to use this Pokemon, but still. It is a... Still, it is a pretty good Pokemon. Well, not a good move in all, I should say. Okay, so let's see what Mindfu is all about. Here we have Mindfu, the martial arts Pokemon. In fights, they dominate onslaughts of flowing continuous attacks. With their sharp claws, they cut enemies. Ah, okay. We are not going to nickname this Pokemon, but it will be onto the PC because, yes, we do need we do need a Pokemon like that in the PC. And, uh, wow, it's still not over. There is an individual here waiting for us. And, yes, I definitely know which Pokemon I kind of want to use right here. So, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Look at this guy. My Machop and I will walk these mountain paths with our bare feet. Think you can take us on? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. So, here we go. Taking on Black Belt Kadok. Kadok. Can't even pronounce that name. Kadok. Okay, so here he comes out with Machop. And, well, Machop, I'm sorry to say this. We're going to Psybeam you because we can. Look at that. Psybeam for the win. And, well, look, yeah, your bare feet can't stop that. So, we get some more experience points. The Goat Jordan grows to level 18. And Kadok, defeated. Should probably have, like, a, what was it called? A Mortal Kombat, like, you know, voice. Draven wins. Fatality. I could do that. That could be one. All right, so we're moving on right here. And, well, let's see. We are going to be finding uh, some more Pokemon. Maybe a trainer here and there. Maybe one or two. I don't know. And, well, look at this. We are finding ourselves a Drifloon. Again, not a very bad Pokemon. And, well, let's go with a Flame Charge. Since it's raining, it's going to lower our attack just a bit. And, okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to get hit by this. So, let's try it again. Flame Charge. Just to lower this guy's HP again. Just capturing whatever I can, guys. And damn. And here comes a minimize attack, which will increase its evasiveness. So that right there, I need to switch out. Let's go with a great ball. Yeah, we're we're capturing everything. Anything and everything. Now, here's something, uh, here's a fun fact right here in this area. Now, you can get hordes. One of the more interesting hordes that you'll be able to find in X and Y is the Hordes of Zigzagoon and Saviper. In Pokemon X, if you get a Horde of Zigzagoon and Saviper, you will get the majority in Zigzagoon and only one Saviper. Now, let me read this right here, and then I'll tell you what happens right here. So, here we have Drifloon, number one in the, the coastal region, huh? Hmm. So, it is both a ghost and flying type Pokemon. These Pokemon are called the, the signposts for wandering spirits. Children holding them sometimes vanish. That is that is creepy. So, let's go ahead and uh, nickname this Pokemon Pennywise after the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond wo walkthrough right here. So, here we go. Pennywise. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, here it is, guys. Pennywise has made its, uh, its appearance right here. So, like I was saying, guys, in Pokemon X, the majority will be... Zigzagoon, and you only get one Saviper, and then vice versa right here in Pokemon Y, where you'll get the majority of Saviper and only one Zigzagoon. The kicker is this. As you're trying to capture that one Pokemon, either the Zigzagoon or the Saviper are going to try and screw you over by basically killing the, the lone Saviper or Zigzagoon. Remember, they got a blood feud going on, and it's, it's, it's just it's, it's trickled down to the Kalos region, so... Good luck with that, guys. And would you look at this? We found ourselves in Inke. Not going to lie, guys. 
Inke was another Pokemon that I kind of wanted to capture. But then uh, I was like, well, it's not really going to work on my team, so... Yeah. Again, I've been thinking a lot about my team. And that right there hits. Okay, Inke. Let's go. Flame charge. For the win. Not really. And, well, here comes a reflect attack, so this will benefit me just a little bit more. So let's go with one more flame charge. And... Bam. Okay. So it's in the red. And we are going to try and capture this Pokemon right here. Now, if you guys didn't know, Inke has a weird way of evolving. It, Yeah, you got to turn the game over. Especially in the Nintendo Switches. So just keep an eye out for that, guys. So let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball. And look at this. One. Two. Three. There you go. Bam. So there's another Pokemon cut in this location. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Zigzagoon, not doing anything. Uh, mooching off the levels and all that crud. So here we are, guys, getting ourselves Inke, the revolving Pokemon. It is both a dark and psychic type Pokemon. It flashes the light emanating spots on its body, which drains its opponent's will to fight. It takes the opportunity to scuttle away and hide. Hmm. Wish I could use Inke, but I already have a Psychic-type Pokemon. Well, eventually. Okay, so let's move on right here. Now, here's a little puzzle that you guys should take a look at. First off, go towards this area because you will be able to grab yourself this, a Leaf Stone. Now, I think I've already told you guys before that I don't know why they would have, like, free Leaf Stones and Fire Stones and all that stuff. Uh, if they already have, like, a place where they sell, where they sell stones. That, to me, is kind of weird. Or it's kind of just like very moot, if you guys know what I mean. So, yeah, let's go ahead. And here we are in Ambrit Town, guys. And before we get into it, here we have something. Hi there, neighbor. Okay. And here we have Serena. How you doing there? This is Ambrit Town. You just go through the aquarium to get to Silas City, but... First, we gotta go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. We might even learn something about those mysterious stones related to Mega Evolution. Whatever you say, baby. Now, before I forget... Well, actually, we're gonna save that for the next episode, but... I just wanna say thank you guys. Thank you guys for uh, watching the episode, being patient as always. Stay tuned in the next episode. We are gonna be exploring Ambrit Town and uh, I think the reflecting... It's not the reflecting cave, it's something else cave. The glittering cave, yes. So. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.